The Odoo platform allows the users to configure various removal strategies. So the removal strategies of operations initially operate based on lots of serial numbers set for product. So first of all, let's go to configuration settings and enable tracking for products using lots of serial numbers. So first we have to activate it from settings. Then only we can enable it for products. So here you can have already enabled lots and serial numbers. And if you want to display this lots of serial numbers or invoices, you can enable this option. And we can also show it on delivery slip. Now just come below here, we can view some settings related to warehouse. So here we can enable storage locations to track product location in your warehouse. And furthermore, the multi-step routes option also should be enabled, which allows the users to define routes of operation, uh, which will allow dedicated product moves. So now let me click on this locations where you can find all the locations created in Odoo. So by default, this is filtered by internal locations. So here we have a location stock and you can see that location type is internal. And now here below you can see appeal removal strategy under logistics. So the removal strategy method is used to suggest the exact location from where the products need to be taken. So for the location. So here you can see we have four methods. First one is C4, that is first in, first out. So in the case of first in, first out, the operation uh, acts as a queue where the initially purchased products are sold first. And we have last in, first out, LIFO. So the last in, first out described as opposite of the FIFO, where the last purchased products are sold out first. And we have first expiry, first out. So the first expiry, first out, the products are sold out based on the expiration date of the products. So we have to enable expiration date from configuration settings of inventory. And then we have to set expiration dates on products. Then only we can uh, remove products based on expiration date. Then we have closest location. So in the case of closest location, if you don't have enough stock in the stock, then auto searches for the nearest location, a nearest sub location of stock and products will be taken from that location. So first let's check how FIFO works. So here we have a product desk pack and now let me enable tracking for this product by using lots. Now let me save this. So you can see on hand is zero, forecast is zero. Now, let us create a purchase order for this product. So, let me purchase two quantity. Now, confirm the order and receive the products. Here, we have to provide lot of serial number for the product. So for one quantity, I'm giving a lot, lot 645. Then for next quantity, I'm going to provide a different lot. Now validate the transfer. So here we can find the traceability report. 
two quantities are moved from vendor's location to stock and i have given different lot number for the products now i'm creating another purchase order adding the same product i'm purchasing one quantity so after confirmation receive the products so here you can provide lot or serial number so i'm giving a different one then after that validated so you can see the traceability report one quantity of desk pad is moved from vendor's location to stock so now when you check the product you can see we have received three quantities of desk pad with different lot number so first we have purchase product with lot number lot 645 and lot 455 and then we have created another purchase order uh by providing a lot lot www now if you create a sale order that is if a customer orders for the product this pad you can see inside the delivery the product desk pad is removed from the location stock having a lot lot 645 because the removal strategy is first in first out so we have purchased this this pad first for the lot number lot 645 so this will be removed first now we can validate the delivery and deliver the product to customers now let us open a location again and here let me change this to last in first out now let us see how this works so you can see we have two quantities remaining one with lot 455 and other with lot www so this one was purchased last so now when you create a sale order inside the delivery you can see the lot number is lot www because we have changed the removal strategy of our location stock as last in first out where the last purchased products are sold out the next we have first expiry first out so let's see how this works so here we have a product flip over and let us enable tracking and after that here we have a check box expiration date so when you check this you can set expiration dates for your product so i'm setting expiration time as 4 best before as 2 removal time as 2 so when you set removal time as 2 then the removal time of product will be 2 days before the expiration time then if you want to know more about how to configure expiration date in odo 15 inventory you can check the link above so now let me save this and 
let me purchase a product flip over three quantities confirm the order and receive the products and here let's provide the lot of serial number So here you can see the expiration date automatically added because we have set one inside the product form. So here it is also possible to change expiration date uh, for your lot number. So I'm here I have given a different expiration date for the lot lot seven seven seven. Two quantities. Validate the transfer. Now here, you can see for a product flip over, two lot numbers are created. Now let me open lot 33 three, and here you can see, I've set removal date on seven. And if you open lot seven seven seven, you can see for this the removal date is two days after the removal date of lot three three three. So this one will expire first. That is lot three 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 will expire first and have to be removed first. So now we have to change the removal strategy for our location stock. So I'm changing it to first expiry, first out. Now let's create a sale order. So I'm ordering, uh, that is customer orders, one quantity of flip over. Now, if you confirm the sale order and then you check the delivery, you can see uh, the product is delivered with the lot, lot 33, because this has to be removed from the stock first. And this will expire first. Now let's change the removal strategy to close this location. So this will allow us to take products from the closest sublocation of stock. That is in case if you don't have enough quantity in your stock, products will be taken from the closest location. So here you can see I have created two sub locations for stock, stock A and then B. So order searches for the closest location of stock and products will be taken from that location. So let me create a new product. Let me make an inventory adjustment. Like here, I have 10 quantities of products in the location stock A.
so we have 10 quantities on hand in stock a and in wh stock we have zero quantities so now if you create a sale order When you check the delivery, you can see the product large bench is taken from the location A because we don't have enough stock in uh, WH stock. So, order search for the closest location and found the location A and the products are taken from this location. So this is how closest location removal strategy works in Odo. And if you have any doubt regarding the product tracking using lots of serial numbers in Odo 15, you can just check the link above. So that's all for this video. And if you have any doubts, please add your comments below.